and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Haney, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, quite, Bob. Quite humble, too. Today, we're going to talk about five exercise options that are easy on your joints. We're talking about hips, knees, ankles, lower extremity joints. Yep, all those weight bearing joints, we need to make them last as long as we can. Yeah, for one thing, a lot of times they're painful on some people. Sure. And because of it, they stop exercising. Right. We're trying to keep you going because that will be better for your joints in the long term. If you're 15 over, you know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, you know about. what we're talking about. Uh, by the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain for you, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. What it is, I don't know. Go check it out. It's the future. It's the future. Yeah, we're in the future. So go to Facebook. The contest will be pinned to the top of the page. Mm -hmm. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. Absolutely, Bob. Good work. All right. The first one, Brad, is the easiest one. And uh, this is something that everybody can do. Mostly everybody can do, I should say. Right. And also, it doesn't cost you anything. So we're going to talk about walking. Right. So what we're going to have you check out is we actually have a person that works with us, Jordan. She's a workout trainer. Yep. And um, Very professional. Very she professional. She knows what she's doing. And she's she's got some videos on walking. She's got one that goes for a mile, uh, 120 minutes, I believe. I think there's a 30-minute one, too. Yeah. And they're indoor walking yep. exercises. Walking in place with and, some music. And you go right with her. She shows you what to do. It's So you're not walking across the house. It's, yeah, actually, it's a stationary walking. Marcus, if you could show a sample right now of her doing it while we're talking. Sure. Um, you know, the, the thing is that uh, she also does workouts in the video, not just walking. You know what I mean? She does exercises. In the, in Appropriate the exercises yeah. that are not, they're, you know, they're not like 20 push-ups on your one hand or whatever. They're, right. They're fit the whole she is tough though man she, she can... i gotta admit she'll challenge you but she'll do it appropriately and she'll tell you options right okay number two we're this is got to spend a little money uh but this thing is easy on the joints it's a recumbent trainer it's by teeter um what's nice about this you can adjust the seat up high a little higher so it's it's easier on the hips yep because the lower the seat is the more Stress is going to be on the, the knees uh, and the hips. Right. So you want to make sure it's adjusted right for you. Uh, very smooth, very quiet. It is. So it's very low stress and low impact on, on the joints. Right. I mean, I, you know, I, I can't think of anything that's probably less. Maybe swimming. Well, uh, yeah, that, that would be true. Sure. And you can adjust the intensity right back here very easily. Um, it's, a, it's a nice deal. It's quiet. And like we said, it's, uh, you know, you could watch TV easily with this. Yeah. What I like about this is very well made, yep. high, high quality, commercial grade almost. And they have one that's a little less expensive than the LT2. Uh, this one's 9, $9.50. I, I hate to even quote. Sometimes I'm wrong. Right. You know, I mean, right. they change it. Well, Bob, um, it's the memory thing. Yeah, no, it's not the memory it's thing. It's not the memory thing. I'm it's sorry. The, it's the change thing. They <laughs> no, change it. They change it. Yeah. yeah. They do. Or the LT1 is like 750 <laughs> so it's like 200 bucks cheaper. So, all right. My, my wife, by the way, um, started using this. She likes uh, it. Well, she for the winter months, she's going to oh, use it. Oh, right, right, she's, right. She does interval training. She goes really oh, right. hard for a, a minute. Absolutely. And then she goes on the treadmill for a minute. Oh, a little cross yeah, training. cross training. Absolutely. Yeah, so. You could do this with Jordan's videos. You know, do her video and come on this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Number three, uh, Tai Chi. Um, mm -hmm. We're not experts on this by any means. Uh, no. But it, it does, you know, it's always brought up as something that's really good for the joints, especially hip and knee. Well, it's, uh, it's going to work your balance. You're going to work your breathing with with strength. I just can't say enough about it. If you're looking for this uh, type of exercise that is going to allow you to relax, focus on your, you're going to get stronger because some of the poses and the movements. And it's just, I can't say enough about it for balance, Bob. Yeah, I know there's plenty of uh, Tai Chi videos online. There so are. You just find someone you like. and uh, Maybe we could get them. one someday. I, I'd like to have someone yeah, come on. We'll search the world yeah, over we'll and see if we can get a good, over. a good uh, person for that. If you're a Tai Chi person and you're in the Minnesota area, want to come down down? There we go. There you go. Uh, next is the thick glide. So this one, oh boy, I got to oh, go. Don't worry, around. Bob, I got it. I'm going to turn to the side right away. Yeah. The so, thick glide is a great seated exercise. 
uh, we'll show you right here. It's very light. It's only it's less than five pounds. You can carry it around with you. And he already put it up on the uh, yep. stand, right? but you can start flat. Yeah, we'll start. You can wear shoes or not, um, but there's a little swishing sound. It's it's not whisper quiet. There's a little sound you're gonna hear if you're in the office and somebody's wondering what are you guys doing under your desk. But uh, you certainly can watch TV with Oh, this. yeah, this and you can talk to each other very yeah. easily. Uh, it works very well with people with knee problems who have difficulty walking. Or like Bob said, if you're in a desk situation where you're seated a good part of the day and you want to get circulation going in your legs. Yeah. And look at this. We can put it up on an angle. And now I'm working the quadriceps a lot more yeah. than I was. And if I flip it around... Well, thanks, Brad. Boy, you're really well, good. Bob. You know, I'm here. I'm here to help you I'm out. I'm here to serve. Now, this that, is this a, one really works the hamstrings. Yeah, this really works the hamstrings a lot more than you would think once you start doing it. You do about five minutes on here, and you'll be amazed that you feel the legs warm up, more circulation. Yeah, it's going to be great for the hips. You can also do it in bed. I'm going to lie down, Brad. Okay, I'm, I'm lie down. Sacrifice my body for That's the. That's right. And we're keeping it. Are we in a good angle, Liz? We can we can get Bob. Now, you can do this in bed. You can do it on the floor like Bob is doing. We've, you know, done it with people after surgery. Right. We you start know. them on, on the exercise program, yep. uh, especially if people are so weak they can't get out of bed. Right. You got a knee, total knee, total hip. They're beautiful for that. You might put a towel underneath the heel. Uh, it, it might be a little more comfortable, yep. um, especially if they're... Yeah, that's a lot more comfortable. Yeah, it um, is. It's, it's a simple yeah, thing. I mean, you could have your shoes on in bed too; it would work. But well, well, yeah, we don't we don't promote wearing shoes in bed. My wife is probably shaking right now just from me saying that. Okay, that last one. Um, she has to tell you to take your shoes off before you go to bed. No, but she's got a thing about shoes. Oh, I get it. Dirt. Well, so, that, we'll we'll keep that. We're to gonna ourselves. come over here now. I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and move this light. We're on the fly here, Brad. Oh, that's right. So you can uh, obviously uh, you can also do some resistance training, right? Uh, for strengthening for your legs, the more the stronger the legs are, the more less stress they're going to put on the joints, right. as well as the hips. It all works together as a chain. So we got the wall anchors here. These are the anchors, and these are our Bob and Brad exercise bands. Um, comes with five of them. Uh, also comes with a cup. Brett, you have the cup on already, Brad? Oh, yeah. I've got one right here. I was going to show you this. It comes with cuffs here that you can put around your ankle. I have it on the ankle. And I like the handles. These red handles are ours. We just... Yeah, these are high quality. Yeah, you can put as much weight as you want. And they got our name on them, so we're pretty proud of that. Um, so anyways, should I show them the cuff yeah, exercise? Yeah, show them cuff exercise. Yeah. I mean, show them some leg yeah. exercises. So I've already got one on. I'll just toss this one off to the side. Um, we're going to start here. Uh, Bob was talking about strengthening the legs, and I would mention, well, the hips are really important as well with your walking and your balance. I'm just going to show you uh, some good uh, exercises for that hip. We've got the hip adductor, the groin muscles, the hip flexors. There we go. Well, and, you know, these get you tired, and if you need a little assistance with balance, you can take a cane, a stick. We use the booyah stick naturally. And... This one in particular, working that hip abductor is really yeah, critical. Really, for, really needed for balance. If you're going to do just one hip exercise like this, that's the one we would say. This is a nice one to get that glute maximus working. And uh, again, with these anchors, it's so easy to put on and off and get things out of the way. Go ahead, Bob. No, I, I think that's all I have to say, Brad. Oh, okay. You can do squats along with it. You can even hook up the band to the lower level. Oh, sure. And do squats that way. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, if you do want to get some anchors, you can go to Bob and Brad, and you get four of them through that, and then you can put them up different levels. So there you go. Give me some resistance. And we do have some videos. If you go Bob and Brad, YouTube, uh, banding, you'll find uh, we probably got 30, 40 videos with different yeah, exercises. Yeah, resistance bands or yep. uh, some type of exercise for upper extremity. Most of them are with the bands. Right, yep. So. All right, Brad, do you have anything else to say for well, yourself? Well, Bob, once again, it's uh, getting time for winter. We're preparing for that. and We the, can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. Right, and these exercises, they don't help. They're really good, though. But, yeah, yeah the yeah. broken heart thing, we're, we're still working on that. We won't easy stop. on your joints, but not easy. Well, on We don't arm, really know. You know. We're, yeah. We don't do very well from that Thanks. area. But we're working on it. Well.